What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are taking a look at the European club attackers, right? So we've already covered Drogba, Ribery and Burkham, but let me know your thoughts on those. Are you going to be spinning? Is it a hit or miss? Personally for me, yeah, I mean, I'll let my thoughts be known in the video, but personally for me, I think that they're kind of driving players in a certain direction now with what is effective in-game if you want to win and what can be fun. So you can have fun with any player. And these guys, these attackers are a very good reason uh, why I think, you know, you need to look at the player's stats, how they're going to perform for you, instead of getting carried away with the glitz and the glamour of the really big epics that cost a lot of coins to get, right? Because even the standard cards uh, do measure up to these quite nicely, right? So we have a couple of players here that we want to talk about, right? We have David, who we're going to start off with as our goal poacher. This guy has got 29 levels. He's a really, really good card, lads. He actually has unwavering form. He's got double touch. He's got heel trick, one touch pass, and first time shot, which is quite nice. He doesn't have any of the boosters. So I'm going to hide this for a second and actually go over to eFootball footballdb.com and take a look at the card that we've boosted up for him right so looking at this card lads you've got 87 offensive awareness 88 finishing 88 speed 81 balance and 81 stamina it's a phenomenal card with 97 acceleration now on first view of this card i would probably take this back down a little bit and just give him one more into dexterity and then probably take away from aerial strength and give that back to lower body so i think that that 95 rated version of him you're going to be getting with the manager boost you're going to be getting uh, offensive awareness finishing speed and stamina and balance all into the either mid 80s or the, the 90s right on top of that you're going to have dribble and ball control over 80 and 98 acceleration this guy is like mbappe right i think he's actually better his player id plays really nice if you haven't given him a go yet definitely do give him a try because i do think that he is a beast right we've also got diaz from liverpool down as your winger we've got a couple of wingers in here right we've got diaz we've got tete um they can both play on each side we've got this guy as well ivanus uh, ivanusic ivanus lads it's too early for me to be pronouncing names I, I can't read sideways and then we've got edwards as well this guy edwards is quite decent but we will focus on diaz and then kind of do a head-to-head -head between them all right so we've got diaz here when we take a look at his stats very very nice he's got standard form the one problem with diaz lads is his balance usually wingers and prolific wingers that have the likes of double touch and have a couple of different skills and stats that are high usually they have the balance into the 80s from level one especially if they've got dribbling and acceleration Diaz is kind of one of those players that I think he's just nearly nerfed too much because he was a beast at the start of eFootball 23. Now, he still goes to a 95 overall, and that's without the manager boost there in this build here. You're going to get the ball control, tight possession, and dribbling all into the 90s. Finishing is going to be over 80. Speed is going to be over 90. 99 acceleration, uh, 82 kick and power, and 83 balance, which is going to go to an 85. So it's a very, very decent build here. You've got 28 levels to go with this guy, and he is going to be a rocket. I mean, he starts off at 88 acceleration we've got similar um kind of players with this guy tete here he's a very similar card i'll show you the build for him he's got 32 levels and if you're looking for a build for him that is what we've went for there 96 acceleration and then you're going to be getting the manager boost the player proficiency boost with all of those stats that you see highlighted there so offensive awareness ball control dribbling tight possession and balance are all going to be into the 90 zone listen lads this guy tete right he's going to have with the manager boost he's going to have dribbling plus 90 balance 90 and acceleration at 98 so what more could you possibly want from a winger like that who also has double touch flip flap cut behind and turn so control dip and shot and super sub it's incredible this guy is an absolute beast he was on my hidden gem series way back when it's a pity that he can only play right uh, right wing and nowhere else right and then we also have this guy Edwards, right? So Edwards plays for Sport in Lisbon. Uh, he's down as a creative playmaker, but he actually can play, I would say, balls to the wall, kind of like speed and stuff, right? He's standard form, but he's got double touch. Missing a couple of key stats, that's probably the big thing with him that balances him out. But again, you're going to have that dribbling, tight possession, and also speed, balance, and acceleration, either going to the 90 zone or going in past, the, you know, the 100 zone, right? 97 ex balance is insane on a card like this. But there's just so many cards like this, lads, that they are releasing that, as I've said before in my last video with Burkham, Drogba, and Ribery, these players are, are finding it hard to shine really bright because you've got standard cards that have got 99 speed and acceleration. So I think that's definitely something they need to look out, look at in the future. We also have, just to round it off, we have this guy, Kladzix. Is that how you pronounce his name, lads? I'm butchering it. I apologize. I mean, this guy is kind of like the collar, uh, collar light. He's probably around the same height as him. Um, 
Offensive awareness or attacking awareness is, is pretty decent. Finishing is pretty decent. Heading is pretty decent. Physical contact's pretty decent. And this guy has actually got a bit of speed and acceleration and balance about him. So he's not a bad card at all. And then we also have this guy from um, Feyenoord as well, or Feyenoord. Feyenoord, let's, what is wrong with my pronunciations today? They're absolutely, I'm butchering it, right? This guy also is quite decent because he has got um, some nice cards there. If you wanted to go and look at left wingers, this guy is quite decent because he can actually play left and right and attacking. I always like a card that has a little bit of variety to him and the player skills, not bad either, right? He's also got one touch pass, true pass and a pinpoint with first time shot, long range curler, dipping shot and of course that all important double touch and soul control. So he is going to be as smooth as butter when you control him. But again, there's just so many players like this, lads. This is kind of the problem I have, right? This guy's got 37 levels, so you need to train him up quite a bit, right? But even at that, there's so many cards here and players now that they are releasing that it kind of goes against having a really, like, meta meta. Like, there's no real meta anymore in terms of the players. Once you can get the stats over 90, you're kind of winning, you know what I mean? And, like, the only thing is with the Legends and the Epics is that you don't have any weaknesses in the card. So for a card like this, right, where you're thinking, oh, Rebri will be a massive upgrade over this card realistically he won't be because they're both specialized players now also if you look at this card yes his finishing is 72 and his low pass is 75 Rebri might not have a weakness on that area but in terms of the three key stats or the four key stats that you want with this guy look at his ball control his tight possession his acceleration and balance like those three to four stats tight possession acceleration and balance this guy is going to be nearly 99 on them all with the manager boost it's insane so let me know your thoughts on it i will be back tomorrow or no sorry we'll be back live streaming today so i hope you guys do join me and uh we will be back and then obviously yeah we'll go through a couple of things we'll have a couple of spins and let me know what you think are you kind of disappointed with these packs now lads or are you kind of like still as a newcomer it is probably great but right, well, let me know your thoughts just let me know your thoughts i'm going to end it there um but yeah, we will be live streaming later. I mean, if listen, if you open a if you open like two two packs here and you're saying like, right, there's 150 players. If I open and I get, you know, maybe I open 30 players here, right? And it costs me 3000 coins or 2700 coins that you've grinded. And you get one of these guys and you get maybe one of the other guys. You have to kind of think to yourself, is it actually worth getting one of these and one of these for 3000 coins when you can actually go and buy the Messi pack who's a guaranteed best attacking midfielder in the game or you can go and buy two club packs like if you spin three of these 10 packs right it's the same price as going and buying like the arsenal pack and the barcelona pack which are insane you're going to have three to four end game level players potentially in each squad and you can also kind of train them up at your own leisure and you get two managers so i do feel that that needs to be looked at we will take a look at it in a future video and we'll talk about it on the live stream i am getting my internet switched over today so hopefully we'll be able to stream in a little bit but until then lads i will talk to you in a bit don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the content if you're not enjoying the content let me know and uh yeah all feedback is 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 appreciated so we'll talk to you in a bit peace